Well, hey folks, see behind me, new boat. I'm actually getting ready for a couple of trout fishing sessions in the next couple of weeks, but as you can see from the spray can in my hand and the paint job behind me, I've got next year's duck season already firmly in my mind. Folks, I had one of the best duck shoots I've ever had in my life. I'm still a pretty novice waterfowl hunter, but it's nice when you can see that incremental increase in ability, understanding, and learning. This was one of those sessions. I want to share it with you now. Second half of this video, recipe for duck pancakes. I hope you guys can stick around and enjoy that. If you're only here for the recipe, you'll find that at a halfway mark there somewhere. But anyway, the duck shoot. Prime piece of agricultural land, generously facilitated by a good mate of mine, Andy. Thanks, man. Really appreciate what you've done there. Folks, we wanted this to be a success, and we knew that the duck numbers in the area could be very high at times, but working out where they were concentrated was a big deal. We thought we had that worked out, so what we did is the weekend before all of this, we went there to do a couple of days building hides, sussing out those areas, and working out where we could have a decoy spread. Just from here, you can just see the level of grazing these ducks are producing and you know with numbers like that and like that these crops don't stand too much more of a chance on top of it more damage all through there all along the edge oh shit yes oh man oh man Got some of that started on the, on the first day. The second morning when we went out there to finish our job, we got a sight that was just something else to behold. Bulk numbers of mountain ducks mixed with bulk numbers of black ducks and all kinds of other waterfowl from swans to pelicans. It was just absolutely fantastic. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Boy, did that give us some optimism to kick things off. Folks, look, as for the rest of the hunt, let me just present it to you as it happened. We got into it all early to get, make sure that decoys and all of that were set up to our satisfaction and then we could just wait for the sunrise to come up and see what waterfowl were moving around. It's the last time I have the light on this morning. Ready to rock and roll there. Mountain ducks coming in. Well done, mate. I'll get it for you. I'll get it for you. Two, one, kill, kill, kill. Yes! We just had a quick lull, readjusting a few things. Got the spinning wing further out there on the water. Blackie's coming right over, Blackie's coming right over. Blackie's coming. Oh, bugger it. You wanna sh hey man. 
you mind just sharing a quick thought before I fuck up any more of our hunting? Um, the leaper release, is it working for you? Um, it is working. Um, you have to be quite mindful of how you're closing the action, keeping it safe whilst you're in the blind so you're not shooting your foot off. Yes. Um, other than that, remembering throwing that lever every single time, it's not a semi auto. Oh, sure. um, but yeah, no, it's working well. Oh, that's good. Well, mountain duck each on the ground, I'm stoked with that. Looking for more. Yep. Soggy times here on the blind. That second shot was a cracker, Andy. Well done, man. You going to grab him? Any chance of what? Well, in a safe direction. Him. If they come over our heads, we take them. Yep. Well, we've got some coming over our heads right now. No, they'll be too too high. Hi. Wait, wait, hold, 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 hold. Yes! 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 That was lead. How much? I gave him. Just shy of a metre. Mm. I just thought I lost him in the crops there. Lead is the key, man. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. There's two ahead of them all, but I'm going to take the left side. A bit far for me. Yeah, too far. There's a fair few black ducks over there. Back in the hose. Where are they? They're behind us in large numbers. You gotta just look to the other side. Look to the other side. We've got one coming in. I'm gonna take him, man. All right, do it. Yes! <gasps> that was great. I love that shot, man. I feel really proud of this particular mountain duck. I just allowed myself to shoot comfort comfortably and instinctively and it was just an amazing experience. I'm really grateful to all the ducks we shot today. There will be a few more shot, don't get us wrong. But um, yeah, that last teal and this mountain duck, it's a good feeling, really good feeling. Got my black duck. <sighs> Stone cold. <sighs> Folks, what a morning of exquisite Australian waterfowl hunting. An activity that has been on this land continuously for 40,000 years, and it's not gonna stop this year for any reason whatsoever. I feel so blessed 
to have this beautiful, the, the most free range meat I can think of. It literally falls out of the sky at my feet. I feel nothing but gratitude today. Wet, soggy weather like this, providing the sport of kings, the pastime of champions. Folks, I hope anyone down in Victoria has been kicking off their duck season in style and focusing on positivity, focusing on, sh on, on sharing the message that you guys know that you have in there because it's very easy to be pissed off about stuff. I'm not pissed off. I'm happy today. I'm going to do it again tomorrow. And I'm going to fight for this opportunity in the future. Coming right this way. Yeah, they should be. We're about to get smashed by weather. But boy, is it nice to go out heavy. I'm sure there's people who've had bigger days, but it doesn't matter because we had a really good day. I pulled off a couple of shots in a row, which I'm extremely proud of. All of you fellas, biggest cheers. So good to be out here with you. What a privilege to be on good land. What a privilege to be an Australian duck hunter. And it will be for many, many years to come. Good times are natural, guys. Alrighty, folks, I'm about to have a crack at duck pancakes. Now, this is going to be a bit different today, and the inspiration of it came from a visit to my mates, Andy and Katz. And Katz cooked us a delicious savoury crepe recipe that night. And we got talking um, about how that could possibly be variated. Katz came up with the idea that why not combine the concept of a big savoury crepe with the original idea of duck pancakes, what you get from that is a much larger, broader quantity and a really fulfilling big feed rather than a small entree style thing. Wild Australian duck is delicious, but I want to get the maximum out of it. I want it to be a large, major protein source for me, along with venison and along with fish and all of that kind of stuff. So let's give it a crack. I've got duck breasts that have been here for about six hours slow cooking. I'll just give you a little bit of a feature of what that looked like at midday today. And then we're gonna start getting our batter together to make the pancakes, the crepe, the base of all this recipe. Just a little bit of a dusting of Chinese five spice, just on the top of some Chinese cooking wine. Just two splashes like that. Dash of soy sauce. A bit of extra salt if it's to your taste, but you can always add that afterwards. I've got the crock pot set on low. That's on the stove top, obviously very low setting, but the lid on. I'm gonna leave it for four or five hours and check on it then. If it needs six, I'll give it six, but low and slow is the key. Very quick rundown of ingredients. So in terms of the fresh stuff that will go with our pancake, I've got some cucumber, carrot, uh, spring onions, and coriander, which will be chopped up in very thin strips to complement the pancake. And we've got the hoisin sauce, which will be the sauce which will put straight over the ingredients within the pancake to kick it off. In terms of making the batter, we've got flour, eggs, there's some milk and salt elsewhere. I didn't bring it here because I'm on the beers and I forgot. And, Let's make the batter. 
I'm gonna do 250 grams of flour. Well, not that close enough for the bush. Three eggs. Very good. The recipe says up to half a liter of milk for this amount. Even though it seems like a lot, we do want a very liquidy, runny texture in order to make a really wide and thin pancake. This duck has been in the slow cooker for about six hours. But I will re remove each individual piece into this bowl here and then just fork it apart and fingers crossed it is that nice stringy pull apart texture that I intended. Oh, that's nice. That's what we're after. Uh, the bowl was an awkward choice, but once it gets flaking, it's good. Oh, the anticipation's mounting. These are the three best pancakes I managed. I stuffed up the first two. Oh well, that's good. Uh, that's only half the duck. Like that's that's a lot of duck. And yeah, so lunch is tomorrow, all that good stuff. Oh, it's time. Folks, oh, I needed that to work. I needed that to work. And it works good. That is delicious. That is fantastic. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> I shouldn't have had so many doubts. But it was good. That is really good, folks. Oh, winner, winner. Duck for dinner. And there you have it. Duck pancakes. Delicious. Folks, here I am getting 100% the best out of the game that this land and that sky provides. Wild duck is an amazing food source that has been in the Australian diet for 40,000 years plus. It's not going to stop now. There's no reason for it to stop now. One way of just showing this and the reason why is, is, is through good cooking and good food and Folks, let me, let me recommend this recipe. You know, this wasn't my inspiration. Cats, thank you so much for that inspiration. I'm, I'm gonna have this all the time. I'm gonna have this all the time. When I can get my hands on wild ducks, because this is one way as well, with the slow cooker, to use every part of that duck as well. You can get the best of all the bones, scratch it down. There's a really nice hint of flavor there from the rice wine and the five spice it was really good to add that in early on. I'll stop going on. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. And I hope that many of you will be enjoying many feeds just like this, this week, this month, this year, now into the future. Maximum respect, people. <laughs>